Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend. I had to jump on and talk a little bit about that man, Lucas Paqueta. Bruno's best mate and a player that I think a lot of Newcastle fans would like to see come to Newcastle this summer window. Heavily, heavily linked with Arsenal to the point where it looked like he could well have gone there. But a big boost for Newcastle fans after Edu, the technical director of Arsenal, gave a little bit more info on that current situation. But before we get into that, please get down and subscribe to the channel. I loads of you guys are watching the videos at the moment but haven't yet. And I am literally just about to head off and play in the Newcastle Fans TV versus Magpie Channel TV uh, charity match. It's all in aid of men's mental health. Be a game changer. It's all through the Newcastle United Foundation. Um, cannot wait to get up there, get me football boots on for the first time in a long time and I will have a video on that either later today or maybe tomorrow so again subscribe do not miss out on that and we are raising money for the charity as well so I will put the link down in the description any donation would be fantastic especially after last night uh, watching the UFC and Paddy the Baddy coming out and giving a great speech about mental health as well. It's all really happening right now. So yeah, great cause, great foundation. Um, and it's a rooftop pitch as well. Uh, so I cannot wait to get down there and get involved. But Lucas Paqueta, again, a fantastic player. Uh, it's a little bit of a romantic story because of the fact he plays at Brazil with Bruno. Obviously played with Bruno at Lyon before he made the jump to Newcastle. And again... Bruno was linked with Arsenal as well, but chose to come to Newcastle. What a fantastic player he's been. And without going over old ground, Paquette has been to Newcastle. He's already seen the bridges. Uh, we, he's already got his house picked out, hopefully. Uh, and we can hopefully bring him in this summer. We know that Dan Ashworth is actually over in Portugal with Eddie Howe right now. He made the trip to basically have more time to talk to Eddie about what players does he want, what can we do next. We are being linked with a whole host of players at the moment, but it's been a very, very difficult summer window in terms of attacking players. I just think there isn't that much out there, and the ones that are available, the clubs are very aware that there isn't that many of them. In terms of number nines and strikers, um, Callum Wilson is he's like a robot. He can, he can do it all. You know, it's no longer the days of two strikers up front. It's a solo striker. You need to be able to run, head the ball, be strong, be fast, you know, he's got to do it all. And there's just not that many, um, well, there is available, but there's, sorry, there's, there's there's a lot out there, but there just doesn't seem to be many available. In fairness, although I'm changing the conversation slightly, Belotti, still on a free, still available, and is now apparently being offered to a selection of Premier League clubs, one of which being Newcastle. Now, the issue with him is is the wages. Again, any player who's leaving on a free could always ask for that little bit more. Uh, and in fairness, I remember when I looked into him um, probably about a month ago now, time flies so quick in this summer window, uh, wages didn't actually seem that bad. I think if he came in on around 100 grand, that will put him as a top paid player alongside Trippier and Chris Wood. Yes, Chris, Chris Wood is the top paid player at our club right now alongside Trippier. That would put him on um, more than he was in in Italy, just I think. Um, so that's one to watch out for. That will be one that will be really good to bring in. But in terms of other attacking players, Dan Ashworth is working very hard, linked with a whole lo load of players. Paqueta, in fairness, isn't a player we've been linked with that heavily over the last couple of weeks. Things have definitely quietened down. But um, Leon wanted 60 million. No one came. No one was willing to put that kind of bid down. For Paqueta. Paqueta himself then handed in a transfer request just to try and get something going. And, it, and it's been Arsenal who have been the team that have been more heavily linked. But as of yesterday, uh, yesterday evening, Edu, um, Edu Gaspar, so he is obviously the ex-player at Arsenal now, technical director, has had a lot to do with the transfers going on with Arsenal. He has told TNT Sports that I really like Paqueta. I'm a big fan since a long time, but as of today, the reality is that there's not even a conversation to sign him. 
There's nothing as uh, we have many players in that position. That's it. Can't say more. So Arsenal have been the team that have, you know, in the in the in the media has been the team that will go into pip, um, Paqueta, uh, Newcastle to Paqueta. But it now sounds like Arsenal themselves don't want him. So surely, for a man who and and Leon again were asking for sixty million, have now reduced the amount they're asking for to down to thirty five forty. So they've brought that price down, which is actually starting to to make a little bit more sense now because Arsenal are coming out and saying that we haven't actually placed any bid for him. Now I'm starting to realise maybe that's why if Paquette has asked to leave, Leon haven't had the bids they wanted. They've now started to simmer down the price. The the issue with that is is that when the price goes down, more and more teams will look to get interested, and then that's when the price starts to go up again. But you've got to think now if if our main rival to the player and Arsenal are publicly admitting that they aren't interested in him. That's got to be our gateway. Surely that has to be our moment to go, right, we will put up that £35-40 million. Pounds. And I know that we're trying to be careful for FFP, and I totally get it. And when they were valuing him at £60-65 million, it's a lot of money. But I spoke about this possibly a week ago when the initial links came out to Leon reducing their price. And I said... If Arsenal are in there, we've got to be putting our um, our hand in there as well. And if Arsenal are now coming out and saying that they aren't interested, surely that's the move we've got to make. And I know that uh, Paqueta isn't a striker. Uh, he isn't a winger. Those are the priority positions. And Arsenal have said it themselves. And Edu has said it in there. Um, I'm a big fan for a long time. But the reality is there's not a conversation. And then saying that there's... Um, there's nothing as we've many players in that position. And I, I do wonder if possibly that's why we haven't been pushing maybe the way we should have because he, we've got a lot of midfielders right now. But Paqueta can play in that attacking role. He can play in the 10. We can't even play him out wide. We don't want to play him there because <laughs> that's not where he'll be best. But we could play him there. He's a very versatile guy. We can get him around the pitch for sure. So... It's certainly someone that we should, yeah, it's 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 got to be. I, I just think that if, if the main rival have dropped out and, and we can get him for the, the reduced price now of 30 million, it's got to be a push we've got to make. And I know I've mentioned Belotti already. He's on a free. I think that's another really good one. And don't get me wrong, I am trusted in the process. I am just having my little uh, say on YouTube over here, but <laughs> I'm trusted in the process. I have I have full faith. That come the end of this window, we will have signed a striker, we will have signed a winger, and if we could throw in an attacking midfielder and Paqueta as well, would we'll just be spot on. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below on the comments made by Edu over in Arsenal. The fact that he is now publicly saying that they have in fact not made a bid for Paqueta. I think that is most likely why Leon have dropped their price tag and Paqueta has put in his transfer request. The only other thing that I'm, I'm thinking as well is that the World Cup's not far away. If we don't go in now and get him for 35 million and he goes and has a fantastic World Cup with Brazil, scores all the goals, and he's worth two, three times the price. If And I understand that it might be better to suit us to buy him next summer because by then maybe um, someone else is leaving, somebody else is leaving, right, well, now we need to strengthen that position. But if we wait that time, by then, he could be worth twice the price. Maybe Paqueta himself, as much as he wants to leave, maybe he's half thinking to himself, you know what, if I leave it until January, I can play this World Cup, score all these goals, and then my wage will probably double as well. Um, so, it's one of those. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, be sure to go down... And uh, subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out the Be A Changer, uh, Be A Game Changer campaign. Again, I'll have a full video up about what I'm sure will be a fantastic charity football match later on today. And again, I hope to have a video out later or sometime tomorrow again just promoting um, the fantastic charity and the work that the, um, the foundation are doing right now. So really, really privileged to um, be invited down and get involved with that. 
Um, and I'm sure it'll be a, a great day. All right, guys, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll catch you later.